Good morning to all those tuning in. This is the Web Eleven, and today we're back to playing Beneath the Steel Sky. So, we entered the bottom level of the city, and now we're in an exclusive club. So, I suppose we might as well start talking to people. Hi, mind if I join you? Good afternoon to you, Mr. Overman. What do you think of the club? Um... The decor is really unpleasant. I chose that myself. Oh! I'm Colston, the manager of the club. Pleased to meet you. How do I get out of this city? Can you see I'm busy? I'll take your turn for you. And lose the game for me? You're gonna lose anyhow. Don't be so sure, Gallagher. I've got something up my sleeve. I knew you were cheating. Well, so are you. Ah. Uh, Never mind. These two are fucking annoying. Tell me I can do something with the jukebox. I actually really like jukeboxes. The select button isn't lit. Hit it? Pressing the buttons doesn't achieve anything. I cry. Something, please. Anything? Ah. So, metal plate, door. The band's back there. Okay, bartender first, I guess. Excuse me. Can I have a drink, please? No chance. Why not? Nice rules. Wait, what? Excuse me. What are the band called? The Hawk Club Quartet. But there's only three of them. Yeah, the saxophonist OD'd last month. Ooh. Did the saxophonist OD on drugs? No. Too much sax. <laughs> he got overexcited and ruptured his lungs. Oh. Who's the lady? What lady? There's only one woman in here. Watch what you say. That's Bouncing Babs. Why is she called Bouncing Babs? Can't you guess? Huh? Um... She's famed for her pogo stick antics? You're remarkably astute, pal. Do the huh. rules prohibit me from drinking? No, you can drink all you want. But I can't serve you. You are the bartender, right? Well, I'm not the cabaret. What the fuck's the difference? How come you can get a drink and I can't? I told you. It's the house rules. Cost to fire me if I gave you a drink. I'm gonna complain about you. Please yourself. Never mind. What the actual fuck? What's going on here? Oh no. Excuse me. Ah, oh, someone important? See you later. I'll then count on it. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. That's not the voice I expected coming out of her. Huh. They do have quite the, uh, boob physics for some reason. Hey, guys, play some rock and roll. Ugh, you fucking twats. Ah. <sighs> hmm. It doesn't react to my thumbprint. Oh. There's a thumb-sized indentation in the plate. Uh, how about we give it a little... Oh, come on. Work with me. Ugh. Um... 
Oh, what if we do... It's my last bet. Bloody hell. There's nothing in here work. Fine. We might actually have to ask someone about it. That's kind of how this game has been uh, going at the moment. Excuse me. Never mind. Excuse or me. Not. See you later. Oh, don't. Oh, oh no. There were greasy fingerprints on the glass. Oh. Interesting. Huh. I'm betting we need those for that. Huh. There has to be something to do out here again, right? actually gonna go to the elevator but like then I thought when I walked what by was that noise? where has funky gone officer blunt come and help me quickly and then, um, I was thinking as I walked over, wait, it's, uh, working off of a pulley system. Just for a second, you scared me. But you're only dummies. That's still creepy as fuck. So I thought there would have to be, like, a second thing. And there is. But it's annoyingly They must have perfect. switches to activate them. Somewhere. Damned if I'm gonna look for them, though. I hate picture perfect games. I really do. Pixel perfect. Just super annoying. You don't look so healthy. You should get out in the sunshine. His skin is cold, like plastic. That scares the living crap out of me. Oh no. Not her. Not Anita. Yo, that's horrible. He doesn't have any eyelashes. Can we? I don't think a severed head would be any use. All right, that's fair. This place is spooky. Her skin is burnt and blistered. Oh. She appears to have been exposed to radiation. Oh. That's because she was moved to the radiation place. <sighs> I feel so bad. The wheels are locked in place. Well, fucking unlock them. It's a kind of bed with wheels. Wouldn't you know it? It's locked. What kind of lock? There could be something useful in there. No shit. This guy pisses me off sometimes. Fine, break it. Oh, I got... Mm. Is there anything else? No? Okay. I was actually honestly starting to think 
Um, Robert and... A ventilation shaft. Better keep away from the edge, or I'll get sucked off. Oh. I was actually starting to think Robert and Anita were going to... Maybe... Hook up or something? I don't know, it just kind of makes me sad that... I don't know. It's just kind of a shame. She appears to have... The wheels are locked in... Um... Could we use this by chance? Wouldn't you know it? Uh, not helpful at all. Uh, um, maybe we have to talk to Liam about Anita. Because the rest of this is just uber creepy. Uh, I don't know. Oh, they're gone. Huh. I wonder where they are. Um, I have a quick look around, but beyond that, I don't think I care enough. Um, I decode on the slot. And let's head her up. Oh, you know what? He probably had headed back to her apartment. Uh, to help her with her dog situation, but whatever. Ah. But I really want to know what happened to Anita. Cause, like... I'm actually kind of sad. Hey, Lamb. We have a lot of talking to do, jackass. What do you know about Anita's death? I don't know what you're talking about. The girl you sent to the reactor. She's been killed, Lamb. Look, I don't know out about murder. You might think I was hard on the lass, but I had nothing to do with her death. Huh. Hey, Lamb. Wait, does he have anything else to say? Or... Um... When did you last see Anita? There we go. When I sent her to the testing room. Why wasn't she given a rad suit? I don't know, it's not my fault. You deserve to lose your status. Now it's your turn to be a D-Link. Hey, what? Is that all he has to say? See you later. Alright. Well... Let's... Let's go look on the... F um, factory at the moment. I almost feel guilty for stealing its body. Almost, but you don't. There's a lot of um, illegal shit going on in this game, isn't there? Even from our perspective. It's weird. Oh yeah, that key and loop is still there. Ooh, but now we have a rat suit. No, not the... Get the overalls. Aww. That's a cute sweater. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Hmm. There. Alright. Time to open up the reactor. I actually remember dying here. Which actually really sucked. Um... Ugh. Huh. Now 
that it's open. Oh, uh, it's bright as fuck. If it wasn't for the heat shield, I'd be frazzled. True. The power in those things gives me the willies. Um. Oh. Ah, uh, the plastic card bears the holographic image of Anita. Is there anything else in here? Um. I guess it doesn't. Huh, okay. Hmm, should we close it or not? Hmm. Eh, uh, not my problem. Not my problem at all. Honestly, I would take no because then that would might cause a lot more problem later. Oh well, maybe I can come back and close it. But for now, not my problem. So, what do I do now? Huh. I don't know if there's anything I can do. Well, there, there has to be something. Hmm. Actually, let me use... I'm actually curious. Um, Anita Enbeck? She was 38. No money, uh, no link status. Ah, uh, wait about your future. Um, I think these were all the same. Okay, what about number three? Um, not interesting. <sighs> I guess now that we know some- Oh! Okay, wait, wait, let me finish my thought first. Now that we know some about her, it is actually kind of cool. But, what if we go back to that machine and uh, use Anita's card? That would actually be quite interesting. I don't know if it would do anything, but I mean, might as well try, I guess. It's someone else. Though, I don't know. I honestly don't. Ooh. Blind playback. What if we use this one? Nice! Oh, now we can get back here. Okay. Not bad, not bad. The fuck? Um, Crusader will go the system religiously against all known Adidas confirmations. Uh, playback? Karen? No, I didn't mean to disconnect. I meant to use it on the... God. Alright, alright. Minor setback. Minor, minor setback. Do we start at the beginning again, or... Ah, we do. We do. Not a 
Pop haben. Alright, so the Crusader won't let us into here. for the use of the engineer's lab. Ooh, okay. If that's you, Rob, we should care for it. We're the only one who can help. I was supposed to make contact with an agent from Hobart. Trouble is, the rendezvous was in a park on ground level. And now I'm a dealing, I can't get there. The agent's name is Eduardo. I don't know how you get to leave. But beneath the city there are tunnels. The remains of the old temple. That could be a way. Aye, not bad. But fuck. The one thing I hate about this game, more than anything, is these fucking settings keep resetting. And like there's nothing I can do about it. Oh. How about we blind you? I think I know what I have to do. I think I have to blind the eye, go all the way around. Ugh. Alright. I'll do that, then come back when I can grab the tunic fork. So, I'll see you then. Alright, so I couldn't blind the eye to get the tuning fork. But... Um... And there was nothing really else to do, so I just decided to start down here. But there's nothing. I thought she said the old train station. Oh, you know what? What if it's this guy? Because he's not an actual gardener. Excuse me. What if we can press him? Do you know a girl called Anita? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Why do you want to know? She's been murdered. I found her body in the cathedral. Can't see why you're telling me. Excuse me. I've got something for you. Can't stop. Too busy. Excuse me. Um, can we get him to continue talking with me? What's your name? It's Eduardo. Why? You're Anita's contact, right? How come you know so much? She left a message on her card. Listen, do you know what's happened to Link? I'm totally confused. Link is a living, self-replicating organism. Originally, it served as an advisor to the council, but it has gradually taken control. How and why? We're really not sure. Hobart scientists have developed a virus. It will check Link's growth, if we can get it into the system. Will you give me the virus? I can't. It's been downloaded to Link's space. Anita was supposed to retrieve it, since she had a Shreveman port. So have I. I owe it to Anita to get that virus. No chance. It's bound to be guarded. I can try at least. Um, yeah, that's fair. Um, I wonder if there's anything to do with the courtroom now? Probably not. But, uh, who knows? Oh, look at that! I was about to say, I wonder if there's anything to do with the Silent court ever? Silent in court! Security service! 
officers, Department of Justice, Inc. Judge Chutney presiding. Court is now in session. Silence! I recognise that villain. An habitual criminal, if ever I saw one. Ah, uh, that's Mr Greaves, my lord. The counsel for the prosecution. Silence when you speak to me. Now, who is the first contestant? Defendant, my lord. The case of Union Security Services versus Howard Hobbins. Howard Hobbins, come on up. Nice to see you, Howard. You're not nervous, are you? Not really. The defendant is accused of gross contempt and assault of a security officer. Oh, intolerable. What have you got to say for yourself, eh? I've been framed, Your Honour. May I elucidate, my lord? Go on, then, but hurry up about it. Officer Blunt was investigating a complaint made against Hobbins. After questioning the defendant, he was the victim of an assault. Ah, monstrous, off with his head. Just a flippin' minute. Who's defending me? Defence? Is he entitled to any? I'm afraid so, my lord. Upon my soul, whatever next? Who'd be silly enough to defend this wretch? You will make the inspector. Why does the audio cut Very off occasionally? Very well. Let's get on with round one. Fingers on the buzzers, everyone. I wish to call Officer Blunt. Call Officer Blunt! It's like some lines aren't even recorded. Please tell the court what happened. Oh, I was assaulted. And is the culprit present in the court? Ah, oh, that's him in the overalls. I rest my case, my lord. Good. Where's my black cap? Uh, we haven't heard the defence, my lord. Ah, uh, is it really necessary? Oh, go on. Just don't take all day. Um... Now then, Officer Blunt. Okay. Let's actually defend them. What was the nature of your injuries? I got very wet. But you didn't suffer any physical harm. I could have caught a nasty cold. Um... Tell the court how you got wet. <clears throat> While patrolling on Bellevue, I was saturated by a sudden shower. Did you ascertain its source? Oh, yeah. I heard laughter from the walkway hubbub. Um... What do we do? Do we push on whether or not he saw the person? Or... Yeah, so let's do it. you saw the accused pour the liquid? I couldn't see anything. My eyes were full of water. But I'd recognize his laugh anywhere. Hmm. Just how well do you know Harvey? I've never met him before. And yet you say you recognized his laughter. Um, I don't know. Who lodged the complaint against Hobbins? Objection, my lord. Defense is contriving to lead the witness. It was a simple question. I wish to establish the seriousness of the complaint made against my client. I shall permit the witness to answer. However, I'm awarding Mr. Greaves five points 
for a well-timed interruption. So who did lodge the complaint? It was Daniel Pyrmont. Huh. What was Mrs. Pyrmont's grievance? Cruelty to her pet dog. I interviewed Hobbins on four occasions. But he still hasn't confessed. Um... Four interrogations suggest harassment. Objection, my lord. Officer Blunt is not the subject of this trial. Quite correct. Objection sustained. Ten points to the prosecution. Shit. No further questions, Your Honor. Uh, I should have went with the other one. I wish to call Mrs. Piermont. Call Mrs. Piermont. Hello, darling. Hell yeah. She's going to help me. Hello, Robin. Hello, everyone. Silence in court. Um... What was your complaint against Hobbins? He was abused, my little poochie poo. Disgraceful. I haven't had a dog abuse case since the infamous Spaniel Mangle scandals. What the hell? Um... Did you witness the alleged attack? Not exactly. Then how did you know about it? Did the dog tell you? Officer Blunt reported the incident to me. Hmm. How would you describe your pet dog? Objection, Your Honor. This is a trial, not a dog show. Objection overruled, Mr. Greaves. I want to get to the bottom of this doggy business. Hell yeah. He's an absolute darling, oh. darling. Everyone adores him. Had you met Hobbins before this incident? I don't recall ever seeing him. But one takes little notice of mere maintenance. No further questions, Your Honor. I'd like to question the defendant. Um... Uh, what does that mean? You just started for ten? Did you assault Officer Blunt? Objection, my lord. Why, men? What's wrong? Um... Repetition, my lord? Objection overruled. Are you guilty of assault, Howard? Not me. I was fixing one of the cooling pipes, and it burst. So blunt soaking was an accident? Not exactly. Why did the pipe burst? Some joker had cut a power cable, <gasps> and overloaded the steam release in the power station. That's what damaged the cooling pipe. Oh, I see. That was us. Okay, now I really have to get him out of this. Did you laugh at Blunt's predicament? Laugh? <laughs> I've nearly wet me pants. No further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Greaves, you may start the bonus round. The facts speak for themselves. Hobbins is a cruel and callous man with no respect for law and order. I recommend the maximum possible sentence. Any comments from the defense? Yeah. I don't believe this is happening. This is total madness. You've all been warped in some way. And I think Link is the cause. Silence! I've heard quite enough of this nonsense. So it's time for me to make my judgment. Howard Hobbin, you won tonight's star prize! What the actual fuck?
life imprisonment. However, in view of your service to the city, I'm going to reduce your sentence. Two hours community service. Court dismissed. I am so fucking confused what any of that was. What the actual fuck? Let's continue on then. Uh. Oh hey, the band's actually gone. Excuse me. Ugh. Is there a subway around here? All the use to be. The club was named after the station. Huh. Where is the subway station? You're standing in it. See the area in front of the stage. The track ran right through there. Huh. That's actually kind of cool. Is there a subway around here? What? I'm looking for the subway. What are you, a train spotter? Hear that, Gallagher? This guy's a train spotter. There's no law against that. Only because there aren't any trains. Look, guys, I'm not a train spotter. Who asked you? All right, go fuck yourself. Ah, <sighs> can't do anything with the jukebox. Actually, can I do anything up here? Hmm. Actually, you know what? Can I turn in the jukebox now? But the band's not here? Huh. Hey, music lover. If you're looking Hell for the yeah. best in sounds, I got them. The music of the spheres right here on Earth. So come on, get your fingers on my buttons. Mm. Let's make beautiful music together. Mm. How offensive. Why they put voices in these machines is beyond me. I'm all warmed up for you, baby. Shut up and let me check the selections. Oh, Lord, it's mostly country and western. Nobody's perfect. Ah, there are three tunes by the Resident Band. So, what's your choice, big boy? Can you stop and not do that? You search but find nothing. Hmm, it's actually kind of nice. So I'm gonna leave it. Let's see if we can talk to the bar guy. Excuse me. Oh. violent towards your own machine, but whatever. Can we get on with... Hmm, maybe that was the wrong time to do that? Okay, and we're back. So, I basically did everything. The exact same, except for the trial. Granted, that ended up the same Excuse anyways. Me. So it didn't really matter in the end. But, there are a few options that are actually quite new. 
I hear you're a whiz on a pogo stick. Hey, read my lips. Get lost. Isn't that why you're called Bouncing Babs? No, it's not. And before you ask, it's nothing to do with what you're thinking. So how did you get the name? I'm the bouncer. Oh. Excuse me. See you later. Oh, then. Oh, okay. That's actually a interesting twist. Excuse me. Um, he did have something else, but it actually wasn't that interesting, so I didn't even bother reloading the save. But I thought this one would be. What would you do if you found a body? Go through its pockets. No, seriously. A girl I know has been murdered. It's a sign of the times. There's nothing as cheap as human life. With the exception of this club. How do you know it was Melder? I only met her a few hours ago. And she was fine then. My advice is to keep quiet. You can't help her now, so look after yourself. Or you might wake up dead one morning. Never mind. Unfortunately, that actually does kind of seem like decent advice. Um, but I actually think I know where I should go next. Essentially, I need fingerprints, right? So it's back to the crazy doctor. Also, I think I broke the game a little bit. So I don't think I was supposed to get the glass until after I talked to the informant. So the fact that I was able to get it beforehand means that I probably could have skipped a lot of shit. Excuse me. Can you match my fingerprints to those on this glass? Oh yes. My machine will do that automatically. It's not against the law, is it? Whatever gave you that idea? Don't security use them to check people's identities? If they do, it's the first time I've heard of it. The usual procedure for identification of suspects is a retina scan at the post-mortem. Now, about these prints huh. you requested. Open the panel on my machine and insert the glass. Then place your hands in the autodermatome. Will this hurt, Doc? Oh yes, quite considerably. In theory, your hands should go back to normal. Cause you can actually wipe your fingerprints with a uh, chemical burn but they still come back as your own after a little bit but then again this is actually a different procedure well then i don't actually know i would argue your fingerprints after this procedure would actually go back to being your original fingerprints as the muscle under the fingerprint would be still the same, right? And then, I actually need this elevator. And then, as you uh, lose skin cells and uh, your hand regrows, it should actually slowly reform back into your natural um, fingerprint. At least, that's what I would guess. I could be entirely wrong, too. And if that's the case, then I mean, fair enough, I guess. Da -da -da. Alright, so this should actually 
open the door now, right? That's too big and heavy to carry. Ugh. I just really hate That's how it's too big. so loud. It's a big box made. The box isn't strong enough. To I certainly put my foot in it that time. Huh. I'd never shift that in a thousand years. It's a solid wooden storage rack for wine bottles. If it's for ventilation, it must lead somewhere. Hmm, true, true. But what do we use? Maybe? Ooh. What's in here? That's too big and it's disappointingly empty. Shame. I can't reach it from here. The grill is too firmly attached to pull from the wall. Okay, we just used the metal ball again, right? The grill. Um. Maybe we use these then? Yeah, there we go. It's not typically how it works, but I'll take it. The subway. It's like a warren built by giant rabbits. Hmm, I still think it's cool. The roof of the tunnel must have collapsed. I'm never going to be able... Well, to be fair, as um, stuff is not maintained, of course it's going to collapse eventually. It might take like 50 to 100 years, but I couldn't imagine it. Ooh, now, shit. Um... This way, I guess? Hmm... Interesting. Nothing really back here, oh, but a socket. Oh, actually, could we put a light in the socket? We can. No way. Am hmm. It's an old advertisement for Anchor Insurance. I wonder if Anchor's grandfather was a complete zero, too. Huh. It's kind of interesting they've been around so long. The picture is covered with mold and dirt. It's the station's name. Museum. Huh, interesting. Uh-oh, the tunnel roof doesn't oh, look no. too stable. Actually, I'm actually going to... So this is my save before everything. I actually want to check out the other tunnel first, so... Alright, so we're actually back, and I can actually explore the other tunnel. Oh, okay, never mind. That's actually, um, quite disappointing. Um, but whatever. Granted, this is interesting. I didn't say anything before because I didn't think it was like anything other than rubble. But like, 
There's something in there. Something horrible. That's kind of fucked up. I actually made a save here just in case I, uh, when I got here, I would need to come back and do something. Then again, that's dumb. Uh, I don't know. I thought it would be nice. But uh, now I know why. You need a life at home. Can't get away without doing it. Interesting. Now, I want to know what's beyond here. And why uh -oh, does it- Oh, the tunnel roof doesn't look too stable. And why does it collapse as soon as I get in here? When it's been stable for like, who knows how long. Wait, you know what? Um, I think that's enough excitement and frustration for one broadcast. So, thank you for tuning into our frequency. This is the Rebel Lemon signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares.